New version of Android is out called Android P. My money is on it being called Peppermint when it's finally released, just for the record. But Google also released the developer previews. Now, if you aren't familiar, uh, developer previews are basically new versions of Android that are given to developers so that they can test their you know, apps and figure out if it works on the new thing and try the new features and all that fun stuff. But it's also the version of Android that people like us, see nerds, uh, will sometimes download and put on our devices in order just to kind of play around with the new version of Android before everybody else. First though, this video was kindly sponsored by Blinkist. Blinkist is a super cool app for busy people. If you wanna learn more, plenty of CEOs out there have all been documented saying you should read as many books as possible. But what if you really don't have time? Or if you're just a nerd like me and you want the most efficient way you possibly can learn? Blinkist takes all of the most popular nonfiction books and condenses them into short versions of the most important parts that you can read or even listen to while doing other things in under 15 minutes. If you click the link in the description, you can start a seven day free trial of the service on either iOS or Android. Check it out. Now first up, this will only work on the Google Pixel. Uh, both models, Pixel, the Pixel XL, and also the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Installing this preview, by the way, will also erase the device, as will uninstalling it, which I'll show you how to do that as well. You will also not get OTAs. You will have to manually update the developer preview to the newest versions um, using this same process. It is a lot easier once you do it once, but just so you understand that that is part of this. Um, otherwise, if that bothers you, you should just wait for the Android P beta program instead, but that's gonna be a few months from now, um, and that's gonna be easier to update and enroll in and et cetera, et cetera. Now, this tutorial also, lastly, is for Windows. Just because most people out there are going to have Windows if they have an Android device, um, and also it just happens to be the most supported and easiest way to get this to work. Okay, first, head to my how to set up ADB tutorial. The link is below. You can follow that to get ADB and Fastboot working. I promise it takes very little time. It's super quick. And then you can just come back to here to continue. Then we need to update the ADB platform tools. So after you've downloaded and installed the ADB from that tutorial, uh, we need to update those files. So we're going to do that by downloading the latest ADB platform tools for Windows from this link here, again, beneath this video on my site, uh, and then save those to your desktop. After that, we can extract the zip folder and then copy and paste all the files that are inside that new platform tools folder uh, into the new C backslash ADB folder. This folder, by the way, appeared on your computer when you did my how to set up ADB tutorial, just in case you didn't know where it came from. Uh, it should ask you if you wanna replace existing files if you're putting it in the right place. If it does, say yes. Next, we need to go on our phone and go to settings, then scroll down and tap on system, then tap on about phone and continually tap on build number until it tells you you are a developer. It might ask for your pin, so put that in. Then hit back and go to the new developer options and turn on OEM unlocking and also USB debugging. Okay, then we can download the Android P developer preview from the Android site. Again, the link is below. And then we're gonna save that zip file to our desktop. Next, we can extract it to the ADB folder that we set up from the how to set up ADB tutorial. Again, it should be in C backslash ADB. Uh, make sure that all of the files, by the way, are inside the same folder as adb.exe. That's how you know you're in the right place. Then we can boot the device into bootloader mode by turning it off and turning it back on by holding down volume down and power. And don't let go of either until it shows consistently bootloader mode. Then we can plug in the phone to our computer via the USB cable and open a command window by typing CMD into the search bar of Windows and hitting enter. Then we're going to type the following into the command prompt and hit enter at the end of each line. CD space C colon backslash ADB to get us into that ADB folder. Then we're gonna type fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter. The device will ask you to confirm that you want to unlock the bootloader. You can use the volume buttons to choose and power to select and of course choose yes. Now after that, we need to unlock the critical partitions. To do that, we're going to type fastboot flashing unlock underscore critical and hit enter. You'll have to confirm again using the same volume and power buttons. And then now that the bootloader is fully unlocked, we can go to the folder uh, that has the device preview image in it. Again, it should be in C ADB. 
You should now see also a flash hyphen all dot bat file in there. We're gonna double click that and then it's going to start flashing all of the new firmware. This process does take a little bit, so be patient. When it's all done, it'll let you know in command prompt and the device will reboot. Once it reboots, you can go through the normal setup process and you'll know you're on Android P as soon as you swipe down on the notification shade and see all the new icons. Now to remove the preview, simply follow the same steps listed above to flash the stock image for your particular device from here on Google's site. Uh, we're basically just gonna extract those files into the same EDB folder on the C drive and double click their flash all.bat and it'll just flash the original firmware. After that, you just need to relock the bootloader by opening up a command prompt again and then typing fastboot flashing lock and hitting enter and it will relock, erase the phone and you're completely back to stock. And there you go guys. Uh, you can mess around with that and it's easy to undo as I showed. So yeah, that's it. Let me know if you guys like this. If you have any trouble, uh, click the link to go to my site and comment there if you need help because it's just easier for me to respond there and it notifies me as opposed to on YouTube, it doesn't. Um, otherwise though, you can leave comments down below here on YouTube. I do check those once in a while as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and other fun tech videos if you're not already. And regardless, uh, make sure that you check that bell right next to the word subscribe just so you are notified of new videos whenever I do them, should you want that. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.